Bob and Mike, it's taken till Friday to get you on court, but two matches today and now you're into the semi-finals. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good to get through to the semi-finals. You know, we've been coming here for 12 years. We love this tournament. Uh, we're actually members here at the Queen's Club. And uh, yeah, it was nice. We actually had a set and a break um, in our second round. We, we slept on that, but came out today and got broken pretty quick. And uh, then had to go back in the locker room and sit on like a five all in the second. And uh, we came out and played great tennis, got through that round, and we just finished our quarterfinal against a tough British pair. Um, so very happy with the way the grass court season's going, going so far. How difficult is it to manage these rain delays and the changes in schedule? Do you manage to stay quite relaxed? Yeah, I mean, it happens a lot. Uh, we've been dealing with, with it for now uh, almost 15 years. Our first Wimbledon, we played a match over um, three days, 10-8 and 5th. Um, last year we had a, a long one. Um, I think we had a 16-14 in the fifth. That was a couple of days. So we're used to it. Uh, you know, you just got to be on your toes. We're always looking at our iPhones. We're, we're checking out the radar on um, Weather Pro. Uh, that's <laughs> that's our app. And so we're we're pretty good. It's a pretty good little uh, radar system. So we're um, we're always ready. You reached the French Open final last week. How long did it take you to recover from losing that match? Yeah, it was it was disappointing. Um, took a day off. And just came over to London and tried, tried to regroup. You know, it's, it's always a, quite a change to go from clay to the grass. But, um, you know, we had such a great uh, grass court season last year, you know, winning here and Wimbledon. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of brightened our spirits to get out there and, um, you know, see a lower bouncing court. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff you got to do um, on the grass. It's, it's a totally different strategy. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of um, refreshing to, to just switch gears and get on a different service right away after a loss. And you've won four titles here. How special is the Queen's Club? Yeah, I mean, uh, the Queen's Club has a lot of tradition. You know, it's kind of like Wimbledon, the, the club's so old. Um, you know, they made, us, they made us members and, you know, we have our, they gave us a, a Queen's Club tie. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, I'm still getting lost at this club. I mean, there's so many corridors and it feels like there's ghosts in it. So, you know, it's so old. But um, to, to be in the, the in the final, hopefully on, on Sunday, will be another thrill, and to go for our, our fifth Queen Clubs title. My mom actually played here, um, you know, 20, 30 years ago, which is uh, pretty cool. My mom is here uh, this week for the first time ever um, since she played, so it's it's nice to have her here. How do you spend your free time in London? You obviously spent a lot of time here. Yeah, we we have good friends here. Um, and uh, the Seagulls, and they have a great house in Chelsea with five bedrooms, it's a, it's a mansion. They actually have a music room. Um, so we spend a lot of time jamming. He's got his guitar, there's a nice uh, grand piano there. Um, the baby's here, my wife, uh, mom. It's a great street, Fulham Road. They have a, a cinema and a lot of great parks. And yeah, so there's so, so much stuff to do here. It's a good city and to, to relax and um, you know just enjoy yourselves in between matches.